Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So it has been nearly one week since I had my hair highlighted and I have to admit it's just literally been a week of kind of just taking it in each time I style my hair and that's because it was something I didn't take lightly at all. It was something which was playing on my mind for quite some time whether I'd have wanted to do it, whether I didn't want to do it and I had a lot of apprehension and certainly in the morning when I was due to um, visit for my appointment I really still at that time wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do. But you know what, a week on, or nearly a week on should I say, I'm really, really pleased with the look. I'm really, really pleased with how everything's kind of settled, how I'm settling in, styling my hair with it, because it is such a change. I've always had very, very dark hair, and the parts of my hair, which you can see, and actually behind the front of my hair, it's even brighter, and inside it's even brighter. And you will see that on a few clips, which I will be uploading very shortly, with the different styles and things which I have sort of been exploring with um, but going forward really very pleased with it and I'm quite surprised with some of the things which I wouldn't necessarily have thought would have come from having my hair highlighted. I mean as you can see from here it in places it's almost white the actual highlighted pieces of hair especially in the back and some in the front here are almost white. When I had it done uh, the person who was doing it for me the lady actually said whether or not I wanted a really warmer blonde or like a medium tone or if I wanted something really icy almost to the point of being grey and white and I said let's go something really quite different something unique modern quite trendy let's go to the point of being really really white almost grey and you know what I kid you not a lot of in throughout my hair there's a few different tones but when I'm when I'm styling my hair and I'm actually looking and thinking, is that my hair? And it's almost like that it's that white, that it's that grey in places that it's almost like that it's a natural graying process. And actually, I've been kind of thinking that if I was started, if I did start to go grey, this would be a perfect look for something which I would absolutely try and sort of push forward. Particularly if you didn't want to keep colouring your hair, or if you didn't want to keep sort of highlighting your hair, it would be really really cool to gradually do kind of more and more and more and then less whilst the grey was coming through. But of course I'm not greying at the moment, this is just something which I've done for a change, but really quite trendy and a difference throughout my hair. What I really, really like is if I have it in the style which I like, like a pompadour style with lots of volume like what I've got today, those sort of 1950s inspired looks with lots of texture. I've done quite a comb smooth style today and that's just to see whether or not I could still pull the look off even though I've got highlights throughout my hair. Um, now, first of all, I was a little bit worried that it would look too stripy or it would look too sort of over the top, but I have to admit, literally, as you can see, the colour's been pulled through my hair and you can see in places it is very, very white. Now, I'm just going to introduce, I've got a light with my channel now, and just so you can see, I just want to show you the amount of sort of lightness coming through, whether or not you can see that throughout, I'm not 100% sure, but in places it's literally almost, as you can kind of see here just a little bit, I just wanted to capture that, it's really ultra, ultra uh, blonde, dare I say, blonde in places, and it's something which I really quite like, I have to admit. Would I have any more? No, no, not at all, because I think that would look well over the top, and that would look too much, but I like how, it, how I'm kind of settling in with it, I have to admit. And some of the things which has surprised me um, is that the hair itself isn't dry. Do you know, I know that sounds crazy, doesn't it? But so much on YouTube is people about doing their hair at home, turning their hair blonde, whether you're a man or you're a woman, and it goes incredibly dry and it almost looks straw-like. I think I kind of had that in my mind that when I had it done that my hair would get a little bit more drier. It hasn't at all. It hasn't got drier and it's still really good quality hair. I made sure the couple of days leading up to it that I was making sure I was using lots of conditioner and really looking after my hair. Um, but I have to admit, there is no change in the texture at all. There is no change in it being really, really dry, which is amazing because that was something I was quite worried about too. When I don't necessarily want to bother, I've got some health problems going on at the moment. Really quite bad getting to the point where I'm having problems getting about with a with another hernia. I'm actually looking now at mesh removal surgery and I'm having a lot of problems getting around. So sometimes if I'm having a really bad day, the last thing I want is really spending a lot of time um, doing my hair. I love styling my hair and I love different sort of styles and things. But some days at the moment when it gets a little bit too much, it's the last thing I want to do. Um, so having said that, when I want a really undone look, it's great because the highlighted uh, sort of style throughout my hair just means that it can be very rough, it can be very undone, and it can just be left, and it can still look really, really good, which is great for me as well, particularly as the coming weeks go on and things are kind of getting a little bit worse with my side. So that's really, really good as well. 
Something else which is a real added bonus for me is, as you'll know if you've watched my channel at all before, I'm always trying to get as much volume in my hair as possible. And those highlighted pieces, whether or not it was the, the bleach or what have you in my hair, it seems to give my hair so much more natural volume, much more natural body and texture. So, for example, when I'm styling my hair, I don't know if it's just sort of because of the first week I've had it done or what have you, but I'm just using a little bit of root lifting spray and these highlights are really seeming to lift my hair away from my scalp more as well, which is really, really great. Now, I don't mean huge. I don't mean huge amounts of lift. I just mean it just lifts my hair away from my scalp a little bit. And of course, it helps when I'm styling my hair because I do have fine textured hair. So all the lift I can get in my hair is an absolute added bonus. And something lastly, what I really, really like about having highlighted hair is that you are you have a mixture of different styles and looks going on now i know that sounds really really strange but for example i've got my hair in a pompadour style look today with lots of texture off to the side but combed sleek so it's not sort of roughed up texture or anything you can't see where i've pulled my fingers through my hair you can just see where i've passed the comb over the top just to smooth things out but i always blow dry my hair backwards loads of volume so holding the brush quite taut and taut in the front with a blow dryer in one hand up towards the ceiling and then directing it over higher on one side slightly and then what I tend to do now because my hair is past my bottom lip in the front now is have the hair off on one side and then swoop it over and then sort of roll it back as you can see here so up in the front create the volume and then round the back so literally like a swooping effect here with the brush and the comb when I'm finishing that off and I make sure I'm achieving that by lots of free spray afterwards as well and I really really like, like the look which it has gave me but let me tell you something if you wanted to chop and change around with the style, so for example, if I wanted to part it on my right side or then on my left side, my left side seems to have a, quite a few, uh, quite a few sort of styles for me on my left side because I can go against how my hair grows, like what I've done today, and it just gives me more natural volume. But either way, I wear my hair because of the highlights. I can make it look more lighter. I can find a place where there's a few more highlights in my hair, and it can look really quite blonde in places or I can take it off to the side and have a bit of a swooping fringe with loads of volume and it has the highlights throughout there or if I want I can play around with it I can bring back in some of the darker hat so what I'm trying to say is that highlights do give you the option and the sort of flexibility of changing around your hairstyle a bit more whereas one color wouldn't necessarily do that of course of course it wouldn't but the highlights you can play around with your hair moving it in partings and things showing more of the lighter color more of the lighter tones in my case, more of the silver and white tones. Um, or you can find an area where it's darker hair. And I have to admit, I've got slightly darker hair in here where there's not so many highlights towards this side and towards the front. It's equal throughout my hair, but it's very natural. So if I want to, I can find an area where it's darker. I can play around with how I want my style. And it's really, ultimately, entirely up to you. So it's like how... How kind of I said, first of all, I wanted a very undone look. I didn't want as though, even though it did take a very long time to achieve, I didn't want a style which, um, highlighted style, which took for hours and hours and hours, sat in a hairdresser's to achieve. OK, it took rather quite a long time. That was the only downfall, I have to admit. But I've got a really undone, really natural looking sort of array of highlights throughout my hair. As a man, I never ever thought in a million years I'd be saying that. But you know what? Give it a go. If you're here watching this and you think to yourself, I think I'd really like to try that. It is brilliant. Literally, if I tilt my head, you can see the swoop sort of of my hair. As you can see, it's lighter and it's really lifting it makes you look much more sort of brighter and i have to admit it really does kind of give me a little bit of a lift in my face even i can tell that from looking in the mirror i'm going through some bit of a uh, i say a bit of bad health quite a lot i'm afraid at the moment but i'm um, hopefully that will soon change but at the moment it was just the added lift i really really needed in a time which was particularly difficult for me currently but as you can see even with the light here i've got my sort of youtube camera light here which as you can see it just shows the, the, and the shining on my hair as well. It just shows, and it's quite a metallic sort of blonde as well, which I really, really like. If I put my head back in the natural sunlight, because it's really bright and sunny today, you can see the light and the lift in my hair, which was able to be achieved, which I really, really like. So having said that, I hope you enjoyed this clip. This is just me sort of recapping on the first week of me having highlights in my hair. So I really hope you've enjoyed that. And if I've given you a few tips, a little bit of an idea or encouragement, absolutely. Leave me a comment below. I will get back to you 
if there is anything I can kind of possibly get back to you on. Um, I very much enjoy your comments, I have to admit. I do have quite a lot throughout my channel. I try to get back to them as quick as I can. But if you do have any in regards to this, um, I'd certainly be happy to help. Because um, I absolutely do not regret for one minute what i done, the highlights sort of with my hair. Really, really love the look I'm left with. And it would certainly be something I would have again. And you can tell it's subtle. It's not out there. It's not sort of screaming, wow, you've had highlights at all. It's just really nice, really undone, really natural. And what I like, masculine as well. It doesn't look as though that I've got that real over the top sort of blaring blonde look. It just looks really quite nice. And I'm really, really pleased. So once again, thank you very much indeed for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.